It's Friday and we need something to do. So we are going to the Long Grove Strawberry Festival. So we're going to make a couple of stops and we're out the door. We're actually right now we're waiting for Amy to change Melina's diaper. Amy's Baltazar's diaper to change Melina's diaper. I haven't had to change Melina's diapers in 13 years. Oh, there's Melina. Hi. There's Baltazar. There's Amy. Hi. And we're in Long Grove. We're going to the Strawberry Festival. Yay! Say yay. Yay! We just signed up to turn down a vacation home so we can go to Key Lime Cove for two days. Oh, yay! Great oh, yeah. oh, Great River Water Park. Whatever, we're going to a water park for two days. Yay! And $40 gift card, and $40 in gas, and Woo! Yay! So we're sharing a chocolate-covered strawberry kebab, of which Balthazar is having a hard time biting through the chocolate. Balthazar's on the train. Where's it? Oh, there it goes. And the girls are off looking at things girly things they had I have to do. And so far um this backpack hurts a lot. And mental note, don't wear it again out in public. Balthazar really wanted to go for a horsey ride. But I made his sister walk around the circle in the horse poop anyways. So she could hold his hand make sure he doesn't get scared. Checking out some pretty cool windmill sculptures. See what I can see in there. Yeah. Ooh, windmill sculpture. They're so peaceful to watch. Yeah, I think I need to check my uh, medication, see if any of them will react with uh, sunlight. Because being outside is uh, making me dizzy. Oh yeah, and sweet corn cakes with mozzarella. Awesome! Really, we've been walking around for three hours. I've only got like, what, 2,000 steps? What's that all about? So, Friday night, and Melina's a karate, and I'm off on my walk. Came back from the Strawberry Festival, which was um, seemingly lacking quite a bit in strawberries, other than people charging, a couple of booths charging for really overpriced strawberries. But, uh, whatever. It was a nice day to spend with the family. Got outside, had some fun. I enjoyed it. It was better than sitting around the house doing absolutely nothing. After I dropped Melina off, I contemplated whether or not I even wanted to go on a walk. And I started going, no, I don't want to go for a walk. And then I, my other half of my grandma went, well, she's only going to be in there for like 40 minutes. And you don't got to walk very far. And the walk would be less than 40 minutes, which is actually shorter than a normal walk. And I'm like, yeah, but I'd rather go home and play a game. And then the other half of my brain went, that sounds like you sticking a rock in your shoe. And then the other half went, oh. Right, get the rock out of the shoe and go for a walk. Because it saves gas because I'm not making two trips to get Milena and uh, exercise. Since um, I did eat quite a bit of chips and salsa that were at this one booth because it was really, really good. And, and, but I didn't take a picture of every chip I stuck in my face. But probably ate more than I took pictures of. And now I'm rambling. So uh, ramble, 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 and ramble, and... <laughs> ramble. Not sure if I've said this, but lately when I see rabbits, I have to go back and think about it, because I had a pet rodent. I had a rat. Rabbits are just rodents, and they are ungodly huge when you consider they're rodents. You know, mice, rats, rabbits, they're big, you know, but then again, aren't, you know, beavers are marsupials, raccoons are rodents, aren't they? But just still, rabbit, it's pretty big, it's a rodent, it's a burrowing creature with big long teeth, yeah, rodent, and then I look at them and go, no, in a way they're not cute, they're kind of creepy, but then again I go, wait a minute, you had a pet rat, stupid. I did something stupid today. Guy cut us off. We were driving up to the fest this morning. And I was driving through construction zones. So I'm driving 45 miles an hour through the construction zone. Actually, I'm doing 55. And I'll, again, I'm going through a construction zone. So I'm trying to slow down so, you know, 
save the workers, blah, blah, blah. I'm not trying to violate the law. This guy's behind me, flashing his lights on and off. I'm like, okay, maybe it's a cop. I look at the plates. No, it's not a cop. Just some guy in his car. Now, mind you, it's like 9.30, 10 o'clock. So there ain't somebody on his way to work. He might be on his way to work, but you know what? He worked there late in the day. Maybe he should have left a little early. Here to there. He flashes lights at me. I don't change in speed. I don't give a damn. He comes up, he passes me, and he tries, he literally changes lanes almost into my car. I got my whole family in here. I get mad. I pull out my cell phone. I'm like, I'll call, call a cop or something. I'm like, no, nah, the hell with it. And I dropped the cell phone down and I revved up and I did the same thing to him. And then I slowed down way down in front of him and to piss him off even further. And he then went around and zipped around me and, and got away from me as fast as he could. It was a stupid thing for two reasons. One, is dangerous and illegal. And two, it got my heart going like a jackhammer worse than anything I've ever done. I don't know if my chest or my heart couldn't take it, but it was just stupid all the way around. I felt terrible for the rest of the drive. I felt like, oh my God, I'm going to have a heart attack over something as mundane as letting some jackass take and ruin my day. Road rage ain't worth it, kiddies. Ain't an idiot out there worth getting mad at. Maybe that's what I'm trying to say here.